This is so interesting. There's a growing list of people in need of a life saving organ transplant. Right now, that number stands at 116,000. And every 10 minutes, someone is added to that waiting list. But some never even get that life saving call, meaning approximately 22 people die every single day waiting for a transplant here in the U.S. But now there is some groundbreaking research that may make it possible for pigs. To human organ transplants. Here to explain is Dr. Sapna Parikh, it's a physician and a reporter for Fox News Headlines 24 7. Doctor, good to have you with us. Thanks for having me. This is really fascinating. Does this mean one day someone could say, My kidney is from a piglet? Yeah, that, and that's the hope and what they found with this research. So it puts us one step closer to that. They created a proof of concept mm -hmm. where they were able to create 15 piglets, genetically modified piglets that don't have any virus DNA in their genome. And that virus was a concern. It was sort of a challenge, a barrier for moving this research forward. And what they've done is they've been able to figure out through genetic modification how to get rid of that virus. So at least that concern has been eliminated. When you look at the stats, as I read, 22 people die every single day waiting for an organ. Nearly 120,000 people are on waiting lists. Mm -hmm. That is only about a fourth of those people actually end up getting an organ. So this could really change um, everything. Why piglets, though, is my question. Why pigs? Yeah, well, the, there's a couple benefits with pigs. The size of their organs are similar to humans, and they're easy to breed. So those are sort of the two benefits. We've tried over you know, the last several decades. They've tried with chimpanzees. Uh, there was that attempted baboon heart transplant in mm -hmm. 1984 where baby Faye, she was called, she lived for about three weeks. But what's beneficial about pigs is the size and that they're easy to breed. Right. And what are we looking at in terms of the timeline? How soon could we see this happen? Well, they're saying, you know, even within the next couple years, we may be at the point wow. where we can start that. But the others are saying, you know, it's too soon. There's still the issue of immune rejection. The same thing we face if you were to give me your kidney. I'd, be, I'd have to take immune suppressing drugs, even if we're a match, so my body doesn't reject it. So that's still a concern, even if the pig was the donor, and even if they've sort of overcome this one barrier of the virus concern. So still a little way to go, but a we could to see that. And as you were, we were talking about the commercial break, some controversy. You've got the animal rights groups and others that are not so happy about this. But you think about the lives that it could potentially save. It's pretty incredible stuff. Exciting. Dr. Brick, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Really cool.